All right, this video is going to show basically how to solder up these motors, and I'm going to show you how to go from that mess of wires to this, and then to this so that you can hook this up easily. I'm going to go over a couple of the tools that I use to do this, and uh, one is a good quality wire cutter stripper. Uh, another one is a soldering iron. Um, you know, you don't have to have anything special. The one I'm using is a is a pretty good model. It's a Weller WPS 18 MP, and uh, gets really hot quickly. And there's lots of control, and also it doesn't require a stand. Uh, you can just leave it laying around and it won't burn anything. So that's a nice feature. Uh, you need something to clean the tip. This is just a regular household sponge that's been wetted, and then uh, you'll you'll come over there and clean the tip every now and then. Uh, this is called something like a uh, helping hand or something anyways it's alligator clips and magnifying glass but it allows you to hold wires into the terminal itself to get the stuff soldered together I don't really use the magnifying glass too much but I do have it clamped to the bench it helps out a lot it's a little base on it that has some weight to it but not enough um, here's a solder that I'm using uh, what I'm using is 62 slash 36 slash 2 it's a rosin core solder, solder. it's lead free um, and it's .022 inch in diameter, so it's really thin stuff, which is what you need because these uh, terminals are very, very hard to work with. Anything larger, and uh, you get solder all over the place. Also have this; it's uh, called a desoldering braid. In case I made a mistake, which I did, uh, you lay this down on top, and you'll be able to pull the solder right back out. Not necessary if you're good, but certainly nice to have. And electrical tape, and also the connectors itself. Um, one thing I am using though is just a little folded piece of cardboard between my alligator clips. Uh, these have a tremendous amount of pressure and will actually bite into the wire if it's holding there long enough. So by putting this there, it actually uh, stops it from biting into the plastic but still holds it tight. So I'll go ahead and set up and show you how to solder, at least the way that I do it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of some of this wire. We don't need this much length, so I'm going to pull up maybe about 10 inches, or so, 10 inches or so and give it a cut and then go ahead and strip back the wire somewhere around 3 eighths of an inch or so and then uh, use some solder on the ends called tinning and uh, then I'll cut them back after I'm done with that but uh, that's first step. Alright first thing I'm going to do here is apply some solder to this wire also known as tinning it and um, actually I'm going to put a little bit of solder on this tip first that's the first thing I'm going to do and what this helps do, do is uh, coat the bottom of the wire and heat, uh, heat up the wire a little bit quicker. So the main thing is you just got to get the wire hot first. And then once you touch the solder on there, it kind of just cools on there really quickly. So there we go. And uh, that's it. That wire is coated and ready to insert. It's that simple. All right. Next up, we also have to hit the, the terminals with a little bit of solder but first let's figure out exactly what terminals we gotta hit so here's a schematic and I'm gonna reset the camera so you can see this easy. so as you can see we have a black green red blue and it's going across the four bottom terminals it's identical to that so what we need to do is notice on here uh, this is the way that it'd be plugging into just like that this is how it plug into so we're gonna attack the first on the bottom. Now down here I've made a note which is easier for me to see so I don't mess up that the bottom starts with black, green, red, and blue. And this is now the back side so when I'm soldering it I know that when I have it flipped up like that that's essentially starting with black on this side, black, green, red, blue. So as you see me do this that's the order that it should go according to the diagnostic chart. Alright I'm gonna go ahead and hit all four of these and I've put it in there so the four on the top and it's going to be essentially the same thing I'm going to heat up this pen hold it there for a couple seconds and then once it gets a little bit of heat it'll go ahead and just take a small amount of solder and we're going to go all the way down and do all four of those so the the main thing with solder is you you got to keep it working you don't want to hold it in one place and I'm getting solder all over the place now but just a little bit it's mostly on the tip and uh, you know it takes a little bit of practice it's not hard to do but if you don't do it a lot it can be a little bit difficult especially working with these smaller contacts so that's that part so now we're gonna go ahead and put the wire in there I'll show you the trick to do that 
All right, now we're at the trickiest part of all, trying to fumble around with this. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have one of these little helpers with these alligator clips, it makes this task almost impossible. It's really difficult. So now you see this extra wire. Remember how I cut it long? I'm going to go back and take my wire cutters, and I'm going to take off all but maybe an, an eighth of an inch off that front, just enough so when it butts against that contact, it's barely hanging out. So that's my first step I'm going to do. And notice I have the cardboard here now to hold it so it's not biting into the pen. All right, you can see how it's just barely hanging over the edge now. And I've manipulated this holding mechanism so that it, it's pushing pressure of the wire into that little pen uh, hold. So you need to have a nice tight fit and then the solder is basically going to melt into it. So remember, the wire is coated with a little solder and so is the pen. So once I get in there and heat it up, it's kind of going to mesh together and then I'm just going to touch the top of it with a little solder and lock it all in. Unfortunately, I did film this uh, getting soldered on, but I actually pressed the button twice and wasn't filming. So anyway, so this is it all put together right now. You can see the nice clean solders and how you don't want anything touching each other because it will short out. So that's what you're going for is just something like that. And, uh, provides a nice permanent bond so we'll go ahead and put some electrical tape on here and get the harness alright so here's the parts needed to assemble this and uh, we just got two screws that hold this together with some nuts and then also these screws which you have to insert in here before assembly which allows you to screw it into the uh, female adapter which is actually our big long RGB cable and I'm just going to use some wiring tape or electrical tape to start wrapping around the inside and then as I get about maybe a little over an inch back I'm going to start doing a thicker wind uh, that way it's going to be compressed in this area and hold my wiring tight inside the harness so it can't get yanked out so essentially this is what you're looking for I started out with a nice you know loose wrap I don't want to pull this too tight right up by the joint and as I got back that's a nice thick diameter wrap which is going to get compressed between the harness and it goes back down a little bit to make a nice clean uh, pull, tie the wires all together, and then I come back and loop it back inside so the, the tape will not come back out. All right, this is what it all looks like before the harness goes together. So notice the two screws up near the front. Put those in first, and you can see how the electrical tape uh, has made the diameter large enough that when it goes in there, it has to get press fit in. Holds in there nice and tight. I'll put it all together, and that'll be the end of this episode. And it's complete. Harness is attached, and I've just gone, gone ahead and plugged it into the cable it's going to go into. That's the one that moves all around the machine. And uh, that's it. It just takes a little bit of time. Skills are easy to acquire, and uh, you get a really nice, solid connection.